here hope y'all are doing okay thriving hopefully but you know we're all in this tough spot the coronavirus has been a tough one for the past couple months it's equally as scary as it has been but it seems like we're doing good social distancing has really helped it looks like um i think it will start dying down soon hopefully because of how much we've been social distancing and how much the entire country has stepped up and accepted this challenge. But with us reopening, it's a little bit scarier, but I think we'll be okay. I think if we keep still trying as hard as we can to keep the social distancing up, then it will eventually start to just go away and we won't have to worry about a phase two in the fall or something like that. But I know something that I can always count on is you guys and the school, friends, family, like everyone's in this together. We can all count on each other, all be here for each other. So I'm hoping y'all are doing okay and starting to be a little bit more active, getting outside, and I'll see y'all next time. Hey miners, it's Lauren. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare one of my favorite meals to pull out the cereal pull out the milk get out a nice bowl a spoon so now we're gonna pour some cereal into this bowl wow that was the hardest step um and now we need some milk definitely don't put your milk in before the cereal big mistake oh that was kind of a lot. That's okay. And now you get to enjoy your hard work. Hi miners. I hope everyone is staying happy and healthy. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys what I do during the day. So I'm going to start with my homework and then I might go golfing with my brothers and then I'll probably have some dinner with my family. So I'll show you a few clips of my day. I did today it was really fun to make and uh, it was a pretty productive day so I hope you guys enjoyed watching and are staying happy and healthy <laughs>
the coronavirus, and I'm gonna a- be asking Crispy some a few questions about what he's been doing and how he's been feeling during this time. And so let's get it started. So Crispy, how like what have you been doing on a daily basis? I've just been doing my schoolwork, and after my schoolwork, I've just been like playing video games. That's basically every day. Have you been like getting enough exercise throughout the day and stuff? Yeah, I've been getting the workout from uh, strength training class. I have dumbbells at home, so I can just lift at home. That's great. Um, how do you like? How do you feel about the entire thing? Like, what would you be doing right now if the coronavirus wasn't happening? I'd mostly be hanging out with friends, like at base and playing basketball and stuff. Sick. Well, thanks a lot, Crispy. Corona update. Um, so I don't know. We've been in like quarantine, whatever, for a while now. Uh, obviously it's. May now, and I guess we got out towards the end of March, beginning of April. Um, I don't know, it kind of sucks uh, not being able to see people. I had pizza today for like the first time since Corona got out, which is pretty cool. And I got to see some friends last weekend, so it's, I don't know, it was really nice. But still, my rules haven't really changed, even though like the laws have technically changed. I know lots of people are, parents are letting them hang out with people. I, it hasn't changed at all for me. So it kind of sucks. Um, online school is still so hard. Like it's gotten slightly easier, I guess, but just like getting the motivation up is really difficult, if that makes sense. Um, so like there's some days when I just, I really don't want to do anything, but I've also been like, I my sleep schedule is just like super ruined and I've had to do like a few assignments or not had to, but I've done a few assignments at like three in the morning. And yeah, so like for driver's ed, I've done like all my assignments at like super ungodly times of the morning. But you know what? I if I get them done, I don't think it really matters when I do them. I don't know. AP tests are coming up this month, so if you're doing one of those, uh, good luck. Just like have, I mean, I don't know. Good luck. I have one on the twenty first for um AP World, and yeah, it's kind of a little nervous because I don't know. It's just it's just GBQs, I guess, and those are kind of hard. But I don't know. Um, Corona kind of sucks. Kind of wish we could see friends and all that. Kind of wish people would also just stay home so that the like it would stop spreading as much. But you know, it's fine. People are gonna go out. You can't really control everyone. But yeah, um, stay sane. Uh, yeah. Bye. Oh hi. Didn't see you there. Twenty twenty's been a year. Uh. If you thought 2016 was bad, then boy. Yeah, 2020. Let's do a recap of that. So in the beginning of 2020, there was World War III, or what was about to happen. Then there was the fires in Australia, coronavirus, and quarantines. A lot of people have died. Nobody famous like 2016, but still. Um, Kim Jong-un almost died, but no, he's, he's alive. There's murder hornets. Um, they kill bees, not humans, but still. Those things are big. Was there anything good that happened in 2020? I don't think there was anything good. Um, anyways, that's that for the recap. I'll see you next time. Uh, hello, my name is William Miles, and welcome back to Cooking with William Miles. Put in some seasoned salt. Then we get some McCormick. Then McCormick onion powder. Dusty. Then salt. Then some ground black pepper. How could I forget that? Worcestershire or Worcestershire or sauce. Okay. Sure. And a secret family recipe. Alright, and now let's ground up some of the burgers and burgers and I have just finished making all of the burger, making all of the meat into balls, and now we're going to 
smash them into burger patties. So first, you gotta you gotta make it into a ball. You know, you gotta you gotta mash it together. You gotta put it all together, and then you gotta you gotta really you gotta mash them into patties like that. And we have just got them all down. Now we are ready to go. Now we are ready to take these burgers out and put them on the grill. I don't know about you, but my stomach is getting excited. What you do is after you put them on, you have to drip them in in the grease and vinegar. Sorry, wind's in my face. But you've got to put them and put vinegar on them. You got to rub it in, and then you got to put the side that you put the vinegar on face down, like that. Easy. Oh, that one got a bit messed up. Don't worry, got four more. <laughs> Reach under, flip, under, flip, under. Gotta keep my eyes on this. Flip, and under, flip. Now we're gonna take the burgers off the grill. They should be done. Mm. See that? See that? That's good. There's some good burgers. Then you do the same thing. You just off, on. Ooh, nice save. Call there. Um, let's dig in. Sun's still out. Three, two. Hmm. <laughs> well, that has been cooking with Parker Miles and. I am really glad I could have been, I've been able to do this. I both got this clip done and I got to make some dinner. Our kids are being loud, but it was actually, and it's also just a beautiful night out, but well, that's just what I've been doing. And I know it's probably very similar to what I did a couple of weeks ago, but I'm already gonna do. But anyway, that is my clip. And these were some good burgers. Now if you'll excuse me, peace out miners.